In this video, we're going to discuss about equations of parallel lines and perpendicular lines. So, let's start with the equations of per parallel lines. Uh, meron, akong, uh, meron tayong dalawang equations dito ng parallel lines. So, yung unang equation, ax plus by plus c1 equals 0. So, yung pangalawang equation, ax plus by plus c2 is equal to 0. So, kung mapapansin nyo sa equations na to, pareho sila ng numerical coefficient sa x tsaka sa y. Nagkaiba lang sila dito sa ating constant term. Okay? So, yun yung equations of parallel lines. So, yun. Palatandaan natin, pareho lang yung sa x tsaka pareho lang yung sa y. Okay? Now, i-apply natin yung idea, nat idea nito sa example mamaya. So, ang example natin mamaya, ano, hana hanapin lang natin yung equation ng isang line passing through the given point and parallel sa isa pang line. Given yung equation ng isa pang line. Okay? So, let's proceed to our example. Okay, so for our example, find the equation of a line passing through the point 1 comma negative 5 parallel to the line 5x plus 3y is equal to 6. So again, ha, ang pinapahanap sa atin ay yung equation ng line na dadaan sa point na to at parallel sa line na to. So yung binigay kong idea kanina kapag sinabi nating parallel lines, yung equation nila, same yung numerical coefficient ng x tsaka ng y. Okay? So, pwede nating kopyahin lang to 5x plus 3y. So, for our solution, 5x plus 3y. Tapos, maglalagay lang tayo ng constant term. Let's say, c1. Okay? Or pwedeng c lang pala. Pwedeng c lang. Oh. Huwag ng c1. Equals 0. So, eto na yung ating equation ng line. Pero, may problema pa tayo. Hindi natin alam kung ano yung constant term. Okay? So, paano natin isosolve yan? So, gagamitin natin yung idea na yung equation ng line ay dumaan daw sa point na to. Okay? So, kung ang line natin ay dumaan sa point na to, so, pwede natin isubstitute to dito sa ating equation. Okay? So, ito yung x-coordinate, ito yung y-coordinate, sa substitute lang natin dito. So, magiging 5, yung x natin ay 1, plus 3, yung y natin ay negative 5 plus c equals 0. So, what is 5 times 1? That is 5. What is 3 times negative 5? That is negative 15. So, minus 15 plus c equals 0 and that is negative 10 plus c is equal to 0. Tapos, lipat ko lang yung negative 10 sa kabila. That will be c is equal to 10. O, ilagay na natin yung c dito. So, magiging 5x plus 3y plus 10 equals 0. So, eto na yung ating equation of a line. Yan yung pinapahanap sa atin. Okay? Now, paano kung kailangan din natin siyang i-graph? So, para sa akin, ang pinakamadaling paraan para mag-graph ng line ay using intercept. Okay? So, let's have Cartesian plane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, hindi siya nakaskila. 5. Now, so, paano siya igagrap? So, eto muna yung line na to. So, tatakpan lang natin yung para sa y. Unayin natin yung para sa y. So, 3y equals 6. Pag sinold natin yung equation na yan, that is y equals 2. Divide lang both sides by 3. Okay? So, y equals 2. Plot natin yung y equals 2. Eto yon Okay? Then, ganun din dito. 5x equals 6, divide natin both sides by 5, magiging x equals 6 over 5. Or, yung 6 over 5, that is 1 and 1 fifth, no? So, yung x natin ay 1 and 1 fifth, o somewhere dito. Tapos, ipagkoconnect mo lang tong line na to. Yan. So, eto na yung graph ng 5x plus 3y equals 6. Okay? Now, i-graph naman natin yung equation na to. So, para sa y-intercept, uh, by the way, dapat yung 10 na sa kabila. So, 5x plus 3y. Pag mag-graph, ah, equals negative 10. So, mas madali kasi pag ganyan. Ito kasi general equation. Now, i-graph natin. So, para sa y-intercept, y equals negative 10 over 3. No? So, negative 10 over 3, that is 
3, negative 3 point something. Negative 3 and 1 third. Okay? So, negative 3 and 1 third. 1, 2, 3. Lagpas lang konti. Next. Okay, 5x equals negative 10. Divide both sides by 5. So, x equals negative 2. So, dito yon Negative 2. Tapos, hindi pa natin siya pagkukonect. Iplot din muna natin to Kasi, kilangan yung line na to dumaan sa 1 comma negative 5. So, saan yung 1 comma negative 5? So, 1 tapos negative 5. Yan. O, saka natin ipagkonect. Dapat dadaan dito. Dadaan din dito. Yan. Yan. So, ito yung graph ng 5x plus 3y plus 10 equals 0. Hindi pala ito naka-general equation. Okay, pero yan mo na. Okay? And, hindi siya mukhang parallel, pero parallel lines yan. Okay? Kasi hindi siya naka-scale. So, ganito lang kasimple mag-solve na equation of parallel lines tsaka ng, uh, mag-sketch ng graph ng equ uh, equations of line. Okay? So, let's have another example. Okay, so number 2, find the equation of a line passing through the point 0, 1 parallel to the line 2x minus 3y is equal to 6. So again, parallel siya sa line na to. Kopyahin lang natin tong 2x minus 3y. So for our solution, kopyahin natin to, 2x minus 3y, tapos mag plus lang tayo ng constant equals 0. Okay, then... Para makuha natin yung constant na C, substitute lang natin yung point na to kasi yung equation yung line daw ay dumaan sa point na to. So pwede siyang substitute sa equation. So 2, yung x natin ay 0, minus 3, yung y natin ay 1, plus C equals 0. So 2 times 0, that is 0. Negative 3 times 1, that is negative 3, plus C equals 0. So lipat ko lang itong negative 3 sa kabila. So ang C natin ay positive 3. Okay? Then, ilagay lang natin tong C dito sa ating equation. So, magiging 2x minus 3y plus 3 equals 0. So, ito na yung equation ng line passing through 0, 1 and parallel dito sa 2x minus 3y equals 6. Okay? So, napakadali lang niya. Then, i-graph ulit natin siya. So, para sa graph. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Four, five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 yan ok so i muna natin tong 2x minus 3y equals 6 so takpan natin yung ano yung 2x so negative 3y equals 6 so y equals negative 2 no? so negative 2 dito sya next 2x equals 6 so x equals 3 so, dito sya then, connect natin. So, ito yung graph ng 2x minus 3y. Gawin pala natin yung general equation. So, minus 6 equals 0. Ayan. Nilipat ko lang yung 6 sa kabila. Next, ito naman, i-graph natin. So, lipat ko muna to sa kabila. So, 2x minus 3y equals negative 3. So, sa y muna, negative 3y equals negative 3. So, y equals 1. No? So, dito siya. Tapos, 2x equals negative 3, so x equals negative 3 over 2, or 1 and 1 half. So, dito yun, negative 1 and 1 half. Tapos, 0, 1, 0, 1. Ito yun. Ito mismo yun. So, connect na kaya agad natin. Yan. So, ito yung 2x minus 3y plus 3 equals 0. Okay? So, ito yung equations ng parallel lines at yung graph niya. Now, let's proceed to equations of perpendicular lines. Okay. So, para naman sa equations of perpendicular lines, so, ito yung equations, dalawang equations ng perpendicular lines. So, we have ax plus by plus c1 equals 0. Then, yung another line, we have negative bx plus ay plus c2 is equal to 0. So, ano mapapansin natin sa equations na to? So, mapapansin natin, yung coefficient ng isang line, coefficient ng x, which is yung a, napunta dun sa coefficient ng y. Okay? O, yung nasa x, napunta sa y, pero same pa rin ng sign. Positive to, positive din. 
Tapos dito naman sa coefficient ng y, yung b, positive b, napunta siya sa x, tapos naging negative. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, para makuha natin yung equations ng perpendicular lines, given yung, isang, yung equation ng isang line, so yung, yung numerical coefficient ng x, ilalagay natin sa y, tapos yung numerical coefficient ng y, ilalagay natin sa x, tapos ine-negate pa natin. Okay? Kukunin pa natin yung negative. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Then, again, yung ano nila ay magkaiba, C1, C2. Okay? So, apply natin to sa example. Find the equation of a line perpendicular to 7x minus 3y equals 15 and passing through the point 5 comma negative 2. So, for our solution, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, yung coefficient ng x ay ilalagay sa y, tapos coefficient ng y ilalagay sa x, pero papalitan yung sign. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung equation ng, perpendicular, uh, ng line na perpendicular dito, dito muna tayo kay y. So, yung negative 3, ilalagay natin to sa x, tapos papalitan natin ng sign. Mula sa negative 3, magiging positive 3. So, uh, lagay natin to sa x. So, 3x. Tapos, etong 7, ilalagay naman natin to sa y, pero same pa rin ng sign. So, plus 7y. Tapos, maglalagay lang tayo ng constant, then equal sa 0. Tapos, para malaman natin yung constant na c, substitute natin yung point since dumaan yung line dito sa point na to. So, substitute natin. So, 3 times 5, o 3 times 5, plus 7 times negative 2, plus c equals 0. So, what is 3 times 5? That is 15. What is 7 times negative 2? That is 14. So, negative 14. Plus c equals 0. So, 15 minus 14, that is 1. Plus c equals 0. So, lipat mo lang sa kabila yung 1. So, magiging c equals negative 1. Tapos, yung negative 1, yan yung ilalagay mo dito. So, 3x plus 7y minus 1 equals 0. So, ito na yung ating equation ng line. Perpendicular dito, tsaka dumaan dito. So, para sa graph... Grap natin. Okay, so ito muna i-graph natin. So, negative 3, y equals 15. So, y equals, divide mo lang to sa negative 3, magiging negative 5. No? So, negative 5, sa y not, sa y to, no? so dito siya negative 5 okay, tapos eto, you divide mo naman yung 15 sa 7 so magiging 15 over 7 or 2 and 1 over 7 so lagpas lang ng konti sa 2 o dito banda okay so then maglagay tayo ng line dyan dadaan dyan so eto na yung graph ng 7x minus 3y minus 15 equals 0 so eto naman yung graph natin, so 3x plus 7y equals 1. O, takpan muna. O, yung 1, divide natin ng 7, so that is 1 over 7. So, hindi siya umabot ng ano. Tapos, divide naman natin ng 3, so 1 third, no? Hindi rin umabot. Let's say dito. 1 third. Tapos, i-plot natin tong 5 negative 2. So, 5 negative 2, so dito. Parang ang hirap na itong ipag-connect ah. Try tayo ang hirap i-connect na ito. Hmm. Ayan. Ayan. Ito yung ating 5, negative 2. Tapos, ito ay perpendicular. So, ito yung graph ng 3x plus 7y minus 1 equals Zero. So, ganyan lang siya kasimple. Okay, so for our last example, find the equation of a line passing through negative 2 comma 2 and perpendicular to the line x over 2 minus y over 2 is equal to 1. So, for our solution, so eto, i-multiply muna natin tong both sides na to by 2. So, multiply natin by 2 x over 2 minus y over 2 equals 1. 
multiply natin sa 2. So, 2 times x over 2, makakancel yung denominator. So, magiging x na lang. Minus 2 times y over 2, makakancel din yung denominator. So, magiging y na lang. Is equal to 2 times 1, that is 2. Okay? Tapos, yung coefficient ng y dito ay negative 1. No? Ilalagay natin sa x, tapos papalitan ng sign. So, magiging ano na lang siya? X. Tapos, eto, ilalagay lang natin sa, ano, sa y, coefficient niya ay positive 1, pero hindi natin papalitan ng sign, so that is plus y. Then, lalagyan ng constant c equals 0. Okay? Then, isolve natin tong c, sa substitute lang natin tong negative 2 and 2, dito sa equation, so magiging negative 2 plus 2 plus c equals 0. So, eto magiging 0 na, so c equals 0. Okay? Then, ang mangyayari, that will be x plus y equals 0. So, ito yung magiging equation ng ating line na perpendicular dito tsaka dumaan sa negative 2 kama 2. Okay? Now, para naman sa graph, so, kung i-graph natin yan, One, two, three. One, two, three. Yan. So, unahin natin i-graph to. So, pero, hindi na ito yung gagamitin natin. Ito na yung gagamitin na lang natin. So, yan. Takpan ko muna. Negative y equals 2. Magiging y equals negative 2. So, dito siya. Tapos, ito, x equals 2. So, ito. So, ito yung graph ng unang line natin. So, ito yung graph ng x over 2 minus y over 2 minus 1 equals 0. Okay? Next. So, ito naman yung i-graph natin. So, takpan natin. y equals 0, tapos x equals 0. Okay? So, ito yon. So, ibig sabihin, dumaan siya dito. No? Pero, pag ipa-plot natin to negative 2 tsaka 2, so that is negative 2 Tapos, positive 2. So, dito, dapat dumaan siya dito. So, hindi siya pa ganun, ha? Kasi siya ay perpendicular. So, yan. Ayan. So, ito yung graph ng x plus y equals 0. Okay? So, ganyan lang kasimple mag-graph at mag-solve ng equations ng parallel lines and perpendicular lines.